telltale signs of fungicide resistance, a serious problem for grain growers across many regions of Australia. Linking and equipping growers with knowledge and confidence to reduce resistance impacts is the task of the new Australian Fungicide Resistance Extension Network, or AFRIN. Fungicide resistance is a really significant and growing issue in Australian grains, um, but the good news is it's a really manageable issue, which is why AFRIN exists and why we're trying to get information out to growers. Fungicide resistance risks differ across Australia, so management strategies need to be crop, disease and region specific. That's why AFRIN harnesses regional advice on prevalence and management via local plant pathologists, fungicide resistance experts and communications and extension specialists. AFRIN is a GRDC initiative and they're really keen to make sure whatever knowledge we're getting out about fungicide resistance is useful and relevant to any regional partner in Australia. Every time we're testing out an extension message, we're making sure it makes scientific sense and that will actually make sense to growers and can be implemented on farm. So we'll be working with partners across the country. So we've got people in New South Wales, Queensland, Victoria, South Australia, Western Australia. So we're covering all those major grain regions. At a fungicide trial site in South Perth, Dr Ireland and Dr Fran Lopez Ruiz are observing a hybrid of the spot and net form of net blotch. And it was discovered down in the southwest of WA oh, a few years ago. Um, and what it means is, in terms of fungicide resistance, this is one of the highest fungicide resistance cases we've seen in the country. It comes as scientists and industry work on the recently discovered SDHI resistance in net form of net blotch of barley in South Australia's York Peninsula. And basically that was a barley on barley system as well as a fungicide, same fungicide on same fungicide system. So it just pushed that system to breaking and into resistance. Dr Lopez Ruiz says it's vital that growers understand and implement effective management practices to reduce the risk of fungicide resistance because it's the bottom line that's hardest hit. This normally ends up with uh, a big chunk of money you know, being taken away from you know, farmers' profits. And we had actually uh, a case here in Western Australia where over a number of years uh, we had a barley powdery mildew population resistant to some DMI fungicides and that ended up being you know, around $300 million in losses over three years. So this is the main risk of fungicide resistance. Dr. Lopez Ruiz says there's one top management tool to reduce resistance risks. Rotation, rotation and rotation. And rotation is exactly what the AFRA network has based its five best management practices on to help guide growers on prevalence and management of resistance. The key things for managing fungicide resistance are firstly to select your variety, so choose a less susceptible variety. Then you want to be rotating your crops, giving them time and distance apart from one another. Then you want to be using any non-chemical integrated disease management methods like managing your uh, stubble and reducing your green bridge. And then when you are spraying, think about it really strategically. Do you need to spray? And then if you are, making sure you're mixing and rotating those chemistries so that you are putting as little selection pressure on the system as possible. Dr Ireland urges all growers and agronomists to join their local AFRA network. AFRIN is already developing and delivering regional resources, including a National Fungicide Resistance Management Guide. Workshops and webinars are also being held, along with production of fact sheets and updates. If it's important to you, please get involved. Um, you know, we don't exist except for the growers who put in their levies and the GRDC who then invest. So let us know what's important to you and we'll deliver what we can to make that happen. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.